How's it going guys? So, do you have a C5 or C6? And have you gone for a wide open throttle shift to find that your clutch pedal goes all the way to the floor? Or have you been doing a track day and you find that halfway through a session you have no clutch pedal? Uh, well, that's happened to me. It happened to me last December uh, on, my la on my track day that I did last year. Uh, but I forgot to do the fix that I'm about to show you because my car was down for a while and I kind of forgot about it uh, But I was reminded uh, this last week when I went back to the track and during my second session After I pitted I was like hey, I have no clutch pedal now the fix I'm about to show you um, it, it I will say it like this it might be the fix for you how how do you know because a, a bad clutch pedal can be caused by a couple of things you can have air in your system or you can have a faulty slave or a master or something going on so this is the one way to tell if the fix I'm about to show you will work for you if when you lose your pedal and it goes all the way to the floor if you pump it and it does not return but if you put your toe behind the pedal or your foot behind the pedal and pull it up and that restores the pedal or that helps it feel better, then what I'm about to tell you and show you will probably help you. And that's how I found out. That's how I got reminded this last Monday when I was at the track. I came into the pits, car was hot after a session pedal was gone I mean it had maybe half inch of travel and I was just able to to still change gears however uh, I started to pump it and it wouldn't come back and then I remembered that I went through this in December I put my toe behind the, the clutch pedal and I bring it up and it stayed up and then I pumped it a few times and it felt like nothing happened and after my track day I drove home and it felt great so I said, okay, it's not a bad component. And I remembered that GM released a TSB or bulletin regarding the clutch assembly. And I'm, I'm gonna keep it really simple just to explain to you why it happens, why the clutch pedal goes to the floor and then the fix for it will make even more sense. So there's something in the in the clutch system that's called the compensation port. Now, I have the full explanation on my phone, but I'm using it to record this video, so I can't read it to you, but off of the top of my head, GM says that this compensation port, which is basically a hole, uh, is a hole in the system that allows for there to be an exchange of fluid or fluid transfer in the slave and master cylinders and it also acts as a relief for the pressure, uh, the fluid that's under pressure. So you go to press your clutch pedal, you compress the fluid, and it disengages the clutch. And then your pressure plate on your clutch, all those little fingers are basically springs that push the clutch back. And that's what brings your pedal back. Now, quick side note, there is a spring assembly behind the clutch pedal. However, that is not a spring that returns the clutch pedal all the way up. It's actually a helper spring. So that spring, if it's still in your car, sometimes they break. A lot of guys like me remove it uh, because removing it gives you a, a more linear, better, better feel for the clutch and the clutch pedal. But the reason it's there is that GM didn't want people to complain that the clutch felt too heavy, especially because their demographic for the C5 and 6 was for, you know, older folks. And some of them complained about it, especially when they were waiting like at red lights and stuff, which you should be in neutral. You shouldn't be sitting there with the clutch pedal down. But anyway, so GM installed that spring as a helper spring to relieve some of that pressure when you go and uh, disengage the clutch. 
So, <clears throat> just so you know, that is not a clutch return spring. However, what happens with this compensation port that I was talking about and why it's important is that this, this port, these two holes basically, are at what GM calls one millimeter away from the top of the stroke. The best way to understand it is one millimeter away from the clutch pedal's position of it returning all the way back up. The problem is that your clutch pedal doesn't always return all the way back up. Why not? Well, if things get hot, the lines expand, the fluid loses some viscosity, the pressure might lose, the system might lose a little bit of pressure, and now all of a sudden this compensation ports are not lining up. Think of them like, like these two washers. When the clutch pedal is all the way up, they, they line up. When you go to press the pedal, it moves. And it's supposed to return back and line up so that the fluid can go through that port and exchange. Think of it like recharging your pedal for the next time for you to press it, there's fluid there to compress, right? That's what it does. What happens is with time the clutch can wear or like I said, it gets hot and now all of a sudden the clutch doesn't re the pedal doesn't return all the way up it might go up partially and so now that port is only partially lined up so you don't get as much fluid exchange then you start feeling like a mushy pedal you still have some pedal but you might notice that the travel decreased a little bit then all of a sudden maybe a few more gear changes and you lost enough pressure in the system to where it didn't come and uh, the pedal didn't come all the way back up to line up these ports. Now all of a sudden you have no pedal and pumping it is just going like this and they don't line up anymore. So how do you fix that? Well, you install a spring that actually returns the clutch all the way up so that every time you release the clutch pedal that compensation port lines up and you don't lose the pressure in the hydraulic system and I drove the car around today with my new clutch return spring that I'm about to show you it's made by Lincoln Felter you can buy it straight from them or Summit sells it too um, it, it really made the car feel a lot better the clutch was much more consistent um, it the shifting felt better uh, the modulation on the clutch felt better and I it just felt like a much more positive disengaging and engagement of of the clutch because now the fluid was being exchanged in the system the way it's supposed to. In fact, it works so well that my clean clutch fluid got dirty because the ports were lining up every time that I pumped the pedal and it was exchanging fluid. So the plus part about this mod or this fix is that if you do, for example, the Ranger method, which is really famous of pumping the, the clutch pedal to exchange fluid, or if you've been following me, you might see that I have my own method with a syringe and uh, eight, eighth inch uh, nylon tubing that I stick in the reservoir and flush out the dirty fluid. Uh, those are gonna be much more effective and you're gonna have to do them less often now because you're gonna get a much better exchange of fluid in the hydraulic system because now that compensation port is constantly lining up. So I'm about to show you really quick. Um, I just took a quick little video yesterday uh, when I installed it in my car. You'll see how simple it is. Uh, it's cheap. It's about $80. It doesn't look like $80, but when you figure the time that they put into making it, making sure it works and offering it to you, it's pretty cheap considering the benefits that it gives you. Or it's so simple you can make your own if you 
uh, want to take the time to find a spring that works that you can install to return the clutch pedal you're about to see it should be pretty simple uh, but if not Lincoln filter has you covered and it works great I best $80 that I have spent when it comes to the drivetrain on the car so here's what it looks like and maybe give it a try if you're having these issues with losing your clutch pedal and it might also be the best $80 that you've ever spent check it out all right guys so here is what the Lincoln Felter clutch return spring looks like and <clears throat> it fixes the problem this slides behind uh, the clutch pedal uh, there's a little stop there I'll try to show it right now if I get a chance um, it just hooks onto there there's a set screw so it gets tightened into place and if you have a C6 uh, this end of the spring goes in a hole that's just around this area uh, on a, a metal bracket that goes across there and that's all there is to the installation if you have a C5 um, I think you do have to remove uh, this piece here to access the same hole uh, which is not difficult to do it's just a couple of uh, Allen screws uh, but that's all there is to it as you can see it just hooks on like that so you know some people might look at it and say you know 80 bucks for for a spring uh, but the way I see it is you know it's $80 but you're paying for their time in developing it finding the right spring the right tension the right length uh, and making this bracket which is solid aluminum uh, and testing it on dozens of cars to make sure it works so that's what your $80 gets you now yes you can go make your own pretty easily um, you just have to find a hardware store that might sell a spring something similar uh, that will work and you can save quite a bit of money doing that uh, I just don't have the time I'm a dad with kids I don't have the time so if somebody already did the the time and development to find out this works um, I don't mind paying for it so the way you know that you have the clutch issue uh, it's you you lose the pedal and you might not get any travel it'll be all the way down but when you put your toe behind the pedal and bring it up and you get the pedal back then that's how you know it's the problem uh, and I'll explain that in just a bit all right guys now if you have a c6 it's super easy to install to install just a couple minutes um, one part of the screw there's a little hole in here as you can see it's part of this uh, metal bracing uh, the hook just goes on there then you stretch it and you put the bracket on the clutch pedal right above the stop right here and it has a, a set screw with a lock nut and that's it so you press the pedal uh, you should feel a little more effort because there's a spring now but now this spring is going to make sure that the pedal always comes all the way up to the top of its travel eliminating the problem that causes the pedal going all the way down to the floor